Police in Brooklyn are trying to track down a suspect who robbed two EMTs at gunpoint. The ambulance crew apparently lured there by a false 911 call. This is the second incident this week. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon is in East Williamsburg with the latest on that. Kieran. Well, Natalie, ambulance workers here in the city are now being warned to keep their guard up after these two troubling robberies, one of them taking place inside the Cooper Park houses right here behind me in Brooklyn. Now, police say this most recent incident took place early this morning around 2.30. Officials say two FDNY emergency medical technicians were here responding to a call of a person having a seizure and they were approached by a man with a gun and robbed. The person then took off with their radios and medical bags. And it was a similar story on Monday night in Brownsville. In that instant, police say two hospital EMTs were also robbed while in an elevator inside the Seth Lowe houses. They were responding to a call for a person with breathing troubles. It's believed a man hit the emergency stop button and demanded the EMTs hand over their medical bags, tablets, and radios. Police say in both cases, the calls ended up being bogus. Meanwhile, the union that represents the FDNY EMTs says the robberies are incredibly disturbing. It's troublesome. Um, it's one of those things that we've been screaming how dangerous our job is for so long, and now uh, it seems to be escalating. We get assaulted at an alarming rate on a day-to-day -day basis to begin with, and now these assaults are escalating almost to felony levels, and you hear about a young crew just out of the street, just out onto the street, having to deal with actual guns being pulled on them and and being robbed just for responding to a 911 call for help it's it's scary so police say no one was injured in either of these robberies anyone with information is asked to call police in east williamsburg brooklyn kieran dillon cbs 2 news all right thank you kieran